What is going on guys? My name is Kegernaut, but just call me Keg, and welcome to another video in the Nighthold tanking series for both Normal and Heroic. This does not cover any mythic mechanics, just Normal and Heroic. And today's boss is going to be Chronomatic Anomaly. And this fight's actually quite simple for tanks. It's mostly a single target fight with some ad cleave so you can adjust your talents appropriately. But basically, there's only a couple things that tanks have to worry about for this fight. So when you start off the fight, there's going to be just the boss that you can attack. That's it. Just the boss. And so whatever tank has the boss is going to get a debuff called Chronometric Particles. And what this does is each application inflicts some arcane damage to the victim every two seconds. If the victim ever has more than nine applications of Chronometric Particles, a Chronometric Overload occurs. In a Chronometric Overload, the victim explodes with Chronometric em Energy, inflicting a lot of damage to the entire raid and the victim perishes in the process. So basically, you and your co-tank have to figure out how to manage this debuff. It's quite simple, just basically do not get to 9 stacks or even 10 stacks, that's the real uh, doozy there. But just really, you can taunt at 5 stacks, you can taunt at 7 stacks, you can taunt at anything as long as one tank does not reach 10 stacks. That's really all you have to worry about. Now, aside from this debuff, there is going to be one ad that spawns either to the left of the boss or to the right of the boss. So what you have to do is you have to keep on the lookout and then kite the boss over to that ad once it spawns. Now, when this ad dies, they're going to drop four smaller ads and a arcane orb that one tank has to pick up. When one tank picks up this orb, then they're going to get an extra action button, which allows them to interrupt the boss when the boss goes into his power overwhelming phase. And you'll know when this happens because the boss just starts channeling into the Nightwell and starts doing raid wide AoE damage. There's nothing else occurring, no new stacks, no new debuffs, no new adds. He just starts tanking in the uh, Nightwell. He just starts channeling. And what you have to do as a tank is if you have this extra action button, you have to interrupt the boss. Now, you don't have to interrupt the boss right away because this is considered free DPS. There's no extra damage besides the raid wide stuff. So this is what healers have to worry about. You have to pay attention to whatever your raid leader is going to call and whatever your healers are going to call. If there's too much damage because it starts to ramp up in damage every time that he does another tick of this, then you're going to have to interrupt him. Now, it's not an instantaneous interrupt. You do have to fly up into the air and then come down and smash the ground in order for it to actually trigger the interrupt. So when he calls for an interrupt, you definitely need to make sure that you do it right when he asks for it. Otherwise, it might be too late. You get some extra damage on the raid and that's not really good. But aside from that, that's all the tanking mechanics. You just have to uh, tank the boss. You have to kite him to the ad so that you can cleave it afterwards. You have to manage the debuffs of chronometric particles. And then after that, all you got to do is just interrupt the boss during his power overwhelming phase. Alright guys, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys are interested in the rest of the tanking guides for both Normal and Heroic Nighthold, then please click on the screen or in the description down below there is a link to a playlist that I have available. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.